In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to create a uh, website in MVC4 that supports both a regular uh, desktop version and a mobile version. To begin, I will create a new project, a new MVC4 project, and I will call this the uh, mobile uh, site test. A basic uh, layout is fine. Okay, so uh, let's start by adding uh, a few things here. So I'm going to um, add uh, two new folders. Uh, one of them I'll call desktop and the other one I will call mobile and inside of the desktop folder I will have a CSS folder and I will have uh, an images folder and <coughs> the same with the mobile version We'll have a CSS and images. Okay, so uh, here let's start by adding a um, style sheet. Okay. Start with the text. So we will call this um, and, and let's call this uh, style.css. And in here I've got a uh, style that I've uh, prepared. Um, a uh, style sheet. Um, I'm just gonna copy and paste that over. Now it doesn't matter how your design looks, um, it really is just a matter of um, having any style. So next I'm going to uh, copy some images in. And I will copy those from a different folder. So these are all my images. I'm going to add them in. And uh, that's pretty much all my uh, desktop uh, stuff. So next is the mobile version. Again, I'm going to add my uh, style sheet and inside of here I've got a different uh, template and here it is So uh, I've got my style sheet now and I'm going to do the same um, with the images from my uh, mobile style. So add existing item, images, uh, just two of them, which we have now. Great. So uh, now that I have all my uh, images and uh, style sheets, I'm ready to add a line of code to my uh, global.asx. Okay, here right after the area registration, register all areas, and the application start method of the global 
asax.cs uh, file. I'm going to type display modes equals to display mode provider and we will need to add a reference using web uh, dot web pages reference dot uh, instance dot modes so what this does is it enables the dot mobile view extension which we will use to build our mobile application so um, <coughs> Next, uh, in the uh, view, uh, views shared, I'm going to copy my uh, layout and paste it and rename it to the same thing, Le underscore layout.mobile.cshtml. So what this will give us is it will give us a secondary uh, layout uh, called uh, just which is called just for the mobile version of our application. And then of course I've got the uh, regular version, which is this one here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this bundle here. Um, by going to the bundle configuration file and I'm going to call it um, something else. I'm going to call it um, uh, CSS um, desktop and point to my uh, content desktop um, CSS site.css and I will also add a new bundle and call it CSS Mobile. And here I will replace it with mobile. And again it'll go point to mobile CSS style, which we already created. Save that. All right. So starting with the regular layout, um, let's uh, bring in our uh, style from our template. On the regular layout, so uh, here I'm going to first change the doc type because my style requires it, and here my HTML has an attribute and the rest of it I'm just going to pretty much copy in here And this is a free template that I downloaded. Uh, I did not write this template. So, um, all right. So, uh, that part of it is fine. Our style sheet now is called CSS Desktop. All right. So, um, <clears throat> Ne let's see next uh, we're gonna put uh, the actual content in under body and to do that I will have to go to the uh, controllers and create a controller I will call this uh, home
empty MVC controller is fine. And here I'm, I will add a view. Index is fine again. Um, and this is where all our content is going to go. And I will immediately notice that uh, there's now a view views home directory with an index.cshtml in it. So I'm going to copy this guy and paste it in here and call this one um, index.mobile.cshtml and that's going to be our mobile version. So first our regular version I have some content uh, prepared here uh, which is um, which I'm just going to copy in there we are okay and uh, that should really be it uh, the last thing I uh, should double check is to make sure there aren't any images uh, which they aren't okay so we're good now let's uh, run this guy and see uh, how it looks okay so uh, let's run this thing see if we got our desired outcome which it looks like we didn't um, it looks like um, none of our uh, uh, style um, came in the way it's supposed to. So, uh, in the interest of time, let's uh, just uh, paste the direct link in here to the style sheet and forget about bundles for a second and run it again. Ah, okay, so uh, it works and uh, Again, I don't approve of this style in any shape or form. This I chose it because it is so extreme in terms of contrast with the mobile version that it really helps um, me make the point here. So our regular uh, desktop version of our site works. Uh, so let's uh, now work on the mobile uh, layout. So our mobile layout is pretty similar and uh, so we're going to do something uh, similar here here's their doc type and uh, the uh, HTML tag Our meta tag and also our uh, viewport tag. Okay, we'll leave the title as it is. Uh, here again I'm just gonna do away with the bundles for the sake of simplicity and uh, just gonna put in here uh, tilde content and mobile CSS style which is what we want and uh, that's really uh, all the changes I have to make to the uh, layout now in the home uh, view uh, of my home page I'm going to copy and paste uh, our mobile version in and again I did not create this uh, mobile style this is something that I grabbed uh, uh, from the web and uh, here's my mobile version now to test our um, mobile version however well, first let's run our regular version. 
make sure our regular version works still. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, run an emulator, and this is called Electric Mobile Studio. Uh, it's um, no longer free, but it's a an easy way to test um, your mobile uh, version of your website on a Windows machine. So I'm going to launch a new instance of an iPhone, and then I'm going to copy and paste the uh, link that I had here in the uh, browser. Hopefully if I can get it up. Aha! Looks like uh, we're pretty close here with our mobile version. Except for the uh, image in the uh, uh, top. So uh, let's uh, point this guy to the right place. Dot dot slash should do. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's point to tilde content uh, mobile. Im images, uh, yeah, let's try it this way. Ah, there we go. All right, so uh, here's our uh, mobile version. It, again, it looks nothing like our regu our desktop version. So if I were to put this side by side here with our regular version, they look not nothing like each other, and that's basically the point. Uh, they don't have to look like each other. But um, with a few simple changes we basically now support uh, both a mobile version and a desktop version of our website. I hope you uh, found this uh, tutorial useful. Uh, please subscribe and uh, leave comments or questions if you have. And uh, stay tuned for part two.